I'm too tapped up, and this is Fribulation HD. And wait, what, what adjusted that? I did not press things. I'm already spooked. Uh, invisible, barely visible. All right. I'm gonna leave it a little bit high because I don't know how bad anybody's, you know. In fact, I'll, I'll spook it up a little bit more even. Um, I don't. I never know what you know. Your oh, hey, the barely visible thing is still visible. <clears throat> um, <laughs> that's interesting. This is Fribulation HD. Oh, hey, it does have gamepad support. Do not press. Okay, I won't. Um, the mouse kind of... Oh, you can't see the mouse. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, this is like a sort of a horror-ish kind of deal. And um, sort of like a philosophical horror that they said it was based on some kind of story. Uh, and it was strange. I got So I got an email about this. Dedicated to Owen Barrington. To, oh, it's gone. So the, the, the rocks are migrating to the south. It's always a beautiful sight. So I got an email about this like a year ago. And like all of they said, they sent me the key. And they said, I hope you will enjoy my game. And <laughs> I just kind of, I, I activated the key and completely forgot about it. And uh, sometimes I wouldn't even bother. Is there not a run button? Sin number one. Wait, is this run or is this just... I've seen this in games where like it gives you this like run look, like it looks like you're running, but I don't think it actually moves any faster. I think it just screws with your view. Like I'm pretty sure that that's not actually any faster, but whatever. But there's just no information about the game, and it turns out the game seems like it completely to my taste. Okay, so it does claim to have acceleration. It does not look any faster though. It just looks like I've taken like shot at some adrenaline directly into my heart vein. Uh, which I'm pretty sure would kill you, but <laughs> that's right, Parker. Hi. Um, yeah, if you're gonna email press, you gotta tell me what the game is. Show me a picture, honestly. Show me a good gif of your game, and that will honestly show me what your game is better than your actual explanation even is. Because, oh, fatigue level. Okay. Running quickly expends your strength. Are you sure this is running? Like, I think it is a little bit faster, but it's not a lot faster. Yeah, there's supposed to be some horror elements to this. And, um... It's supposed to be about an hour and a half long, so that's... That's good. I prefer short games, honestly. I like to... Oh, hey, we've got a little... Thinger. It's like a lantern-style flashlight. Do they make these? Are these a thing? I guess they're probably a thing. You know, so you don't have to point... Why, why is that a thing, by the way? Did you, when I run, my, my face doesn't really like warp around 50% to this either side. I don't know why that's so common in games. Use of lantern. Extends, it consumes my life force. Okay, so we're Gordon Freeman, and this is Half-Life 2. Understood. A lot of people are baffled by that. The, the reason it is it does that is that in, in Half-Life 2, the sprint is your suit, like, augmenting your ability to run. It's not like Gordon, like, you know, running out of, you know, the flesh life power when he uses the, the flashlight. They're all, it's all the same power source. Well, it makes a little bit less sense in this, but maybe it's like a, you know, a biological battery. You, uh... You know, you just stab a little thing into your vein, and it just drains your blood to make light. That seems safe. It's probably a cyberpunk sort of thing, where that is in fact a thing. I found a secret! Give me the secrets. We got one out of 18 mystery orbs, so that's cool. Was this spooks? Are we gonna get spooked? I hate winter so much, by the way. I had to up. Uh, are we just back where we... Was I not supposed to touch the spooks? Weird. Um, yeah, I hate winter because... I waited to start this video for like... Five minutes for my stupid heater to, you know, do its heating thing. And, uh... I start the video and boom! Heater back on. I do enjoy not freezing to death. That is nice, but, um... 
<laughs> it's so disruptive. And then summer's bad, too, because I have to turn off the air conditioning, because, like, the heat is just kind of an annoying sound in the background. And if I'm talking, it's not really too noticeable. Oh, no, the door closed. I'm scared. Um, 19... Wait, are these years? Why are they years? Is this, like, philosophy? Is this the philosophical horror? It's like, you know... 1963 was a good year. I got a yellow cube. I remember it viv vividly. This is an accurate representation of your, your memory. Oh, yeah. Let's go into 1964's memory. Oh, we can't go to that. That's when you can't remember things. It's because the door is locked. But if we were to go and say 1967's memory, we were like, oh, there's a little file cabinet here. Some boxes. There's a little secret quarter. Oh, dang. We remember a lot more about 1967 than I recall. <laughs> That's... What's the opposite of a tautology? I guess contradictory, but... Huh. I figured there would be a thing. Have my cubes. Have my life cubes. Hmm. Is that just... Why is that... Why is there the same door? On the other side of this door. Hmm. When I read the description, I was hoping to get a bit more surreal off the get-go, but maybe. And I mean, that intro was a little bit surreal, but like, maybe it takes some time to get to build up. It's like a crouch button, or a, we gotta jump. So I'm missing one of the the cubes. That's where I've been on all the things. Stupid door. Oh. I have not, in fact, gotten all of the cubes. My life force. I no longer have enough flesh meat to power my flashlight. You can hear my heart beating because I ran out of flashlight juice. I get really scared when my flashlight's out. Though I will say, horror games are like the only time I've ever actually kind of found like a stamina meter kind of deal. Well, not even like a meter, but like running out of stamina to be even remotely interesting. Because, uh, like, um, it's fine and stuff like old Silent Hill games. Obviously, it's not good, fine in new Silent Hill games because they're not good and I don't play them. I mean, I haven't played them. I mean, maybe. I really doubt they're just secretly good and all Silent Hill fans, like, just hate them for dumb reasons, like, that seems unlikely. Like, there's always going to be some defenders, right? So we don't... I'm sure there's meanings. Oh, no. 1978 was a bad year. There was many bugs. Oh, God, my flesh. Never mind. Never mind, Mr. Box... Oh, no, Mr. Boxman. What what is what are you? Oh. Why did that? Oh wait, let's check the options real quick. Uh general uh Turkish, Japanese. Got a lot of languages in this. Show tips, but not nah, English. English will be fine, thank you. Uh just brightness, textures quality. FOV. I never know what FOV I want. I only know when FOV is wrong. And I'm pretty sure I have like a, a moderately wide tolerance of FOV, but sometimes I'm just like, wait, this doesn't feel right. And then I never know what will feel right. Like I'm never like, oh, this feels wrong because it's like FOV 60, I need to move it to 90. And I'm just like, let me fiddle with this until it feels less bad. Oh wait, noise. We definitely don't want noise. Yeah, noise destroys YouTube bitrate. It's probably already too late. Be a yeah, compression. Hello, friend. I'm sure this will kill me or something, but like, it's making my screen go all weird. That's how you know it's spooky. I never liked that aspect of modern, like, hide-and-go-seek horror games like Amnesia. Because it's like, I want to see the spooky thing. That's why I'm playing the horror game. I want to see the spooky thing. Don't screw up my vision. Don't make me go crazy when I see it and make me want to not look at it. Uh, I think it was a Cthulhu horror game that's like that too, like, you lose sanity by looking at the spooky things. It's like, no! I want to see the spooky thing! That's why I'm playing the spooky game! That is... that's the point. But whatever. I'm, I'm gonna go die to this thing, by the way. I just want to see what happens when I die. But like, you know, it's got a spooky thing. So, so obviously, very bad things happened in 1978. <laughs> Look at that. 
This looks like a still from an anime. Like, it zooms in. There's like those action lines. 1978. Kill me. Thanks. Oh. Okay. Oh no! Scene select. Okay, so. <laughs> nothing super exciting if you die. Oh crap, do I have to do all of that? Perhaps that was not my wisest decision. Is it like a quick save? No. Oh dang. <laughs> my apologies. Okay, so dying. I, I figured in, like, in a horror game you'd have more frequent checkpoints, but maybe not. I mean, it won't take long to get back through these. I don't know. I was expecting this to be a bit more surreal. I get... We're going through some dates. Uh, I'm sure there's some some, uh, some symbolism in here. But... I like my symbolism a bit more weird. I like a bit more... Spooky. Um, you know. Wading through, like... A, a river of like cerebral fluid to symbolize like the time I got stabbed in, in the brainstem or you know maybe lay along a little thick but like you know you know stuff like Yumi Nikki I, I keep everything comes back to Yumi Nikki lately but I like my stuff pretty crazy so let's not even look in the spook door so we've got spooky Aztec thing that eats our face, so that's nice. It's run speed, sure is a run speed. Definitely run, oh, the, the door is kind of glowy. So that's how you can tell. All right, we have the flesh cube. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I, I'm a real big sucker. I love bestiaries and stuff in games. Like, you know, listings of all the monsters and stuff. And I'll, oh, it's, it's the same, oh, is that the same spook room? You don't need to go to the spook room. Um, I'm a big sucker for bestiaries, and so what I'll do sometimes, I'll just go on like a wiki for a game I like, or a game with like good monster design and stuff, and I'll just read all of the info about every monster, and I just, I eat that stuff up. That's right, Parker. Mew! So I've been on the Doom wiki lately, and uh, reading all the fancy stuff. Oh no, there's five cubes. What could it mean? What does it mean, Parker? We have a lot of cubes. Parker, you are distracting from the spooks. It is very difficult to get spooked with you. Mewing in my face. I know. Right, he's, he's my safety blanket. He is my fluffy safety blanket. We can't remember anything about the 90s. Remember the 90s? Remember closed door? Show. Uh oh. See, I'm seeing some philosophy going on here. There's the, the, the covered up rooms. But does that mean does that mean we're in the 80s? Does this mean like construction is being worked on in the 2000s or the, the 90s? Let's find out. Okay, there's a spook in there. I'm gonna go check out. Oh man. <laughs> My stamina, my flesh stamina. That's very low. Oh boy, this sure does recharge slowly. Yeah, I think it, I think it just goes on forever. It just keeps getting darker and darker. So yeah, I'm gonna assume symbolizing the future. Like I get what they're going for here. This could, this hallway could have been half as long though, like half as many things, and we could have gotten. Oh no, a spooky thing happened in this year. Some psychological trauma. The future's this way, you know. Well, I think Parker just adjusted my view majorly. Do not kick. Yeah, do not kick the 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 the, the mouse, please. I know you're a cat and it is a mouse. To climb an obstacle. What, 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 why does this light make reality go crazy? Is there a, is there a collection sphere? No, there's not a collection sphere. I think there's one collection sphere. In every chapter or something, because it looks like there are 18 chapters. Hmm. So are we gonna get more spooks or oh, mice? Mice are spooky. Hold on, I need to do some extreme platforming. Oh! No! 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 Why can I? I can't climb on the. Oh, there we go. Yeah, pretty sure you're not supposed to be here. Ow! My flesh. 
interesting climbing. Oh wait, maybe you are supposed to be able to climb up on the things. Hmm. I like the attempt made here. I like spook. There's some spooks. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think it's gotta be a bit more surreal if it's gonna be, you know. I, I do like my pretentious symbolic crap. But look at that. There's a big fella there. That's 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 Romney. He's the he's the biggest freaking rat in town, and he is king of the rat people. That was not meant to be political commentary. That's just the first name that came to my mind for some reason. Oh, there's a spook monster! Is it like an Aztec spook? Oh, he's a spooky Scutal! He was actually scary when it was not clear that he was a skeleton. That's the funny thing about skeletons. They are, like, anti-scary. I don't know why skeletons are still in so much horror stuff. Like, when, it, when he was all dark and stuff and it wasn't clear that he was a skeleton. Like this. Like, that was scary, but then you see he's just like a spooky, scary skeleton that will send shivers down your spine. You're just like, oh. Yeah, okay. We've got some, like, Aztec, like, mouth teeth here. Like, one of those. Or no, that was an Olmec head. But that thing in The Simpsons. Olmec. O Olmec. O cube. <laughs> Why was that hidden? I auto collect them. There was no point in hiding that. Alright, so there's spooky skeletons. We, we'll, we'll play until we see a spooky skeleton. Like, up close, I guess. <laughs> I can't entirely tell if... The, oh, that's bad stuff. Um, I can't entirely tell if the door's opening is supposed to be, like, helpful. And, like, oh, just go this way. Or it's, like, spooky scary. Like, oh no, who opened that door? It's like, I have, I have telekinesis, but only for doors. That seems like a D&D &D trait you could get. Like, you know, limited telekinesis. You can... You have 4D20 telekinesis, but only for doors. I think I'm, like, supposed to go into the spook room, actually. This is the problem with horror games that shouldn't really be horror games. Like... You want to go forward, but then the thing might just kill you and send you all the way back. So you like you don't want to go through. Like, and the thing about horror games is it's, it's only scary if something kills you once. Once you have died twice, it's just like eh, eh. It's just annoying. That's why I had to quit Amnesia. There was that there was that thing in the prison, and like no matter where you hide, it always found you. And it doesn't matter how quiet you are, you hid under the bed. So we got some. Some wavy rooms. I like some. I like me some wavy rooms. Get some more of that. I gotta be honest. I don't. I think this game has maybe five minutes left in. And if it doesn't get really weird or really interesting, probably gonna ditch it. It's getting all wavy though. I like the waviness. See more of this. See, I'm liking this. Is this the forest temple? Oh no, it's not. Oh, it is the forest temple. We're kind of on the side. Oh man, I love the forest temple. I actually hate the Forest Temple, but um, thematically I love it. I actually enjoy the Forest Temple and Ocarina of Time. All my flesh is being eaten. Okay. Okay, so there's like, they're just like murder zones. They're not even like, I thought they would like spawn the spooky Skutal. I know, they're just like, don't, 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 don't be here zones. They're no-go zones. Um, I always dread going to the Forest Temple more than anything else in uh, Ocarina of Time. Um... I can pretty much make through the water temple in just a couple, you know, run-throughs. Maybe I'll make one extra right trigger. Right trigger's not working. Is it right mouse? Oh man, that is some, that is some blur. That is some motion blur. I hate I hate when things have motion blur on moving your face. Uh, I I want you to do something right now, everybody. Move your head to the left. Did you see motion blur? Actually, that's not. That's even. That's worse. Like, move your eyes. So the, there's um, there's an eye motion called a saccade, which is like your quick little eye motions. Like your eye, your pupil darts around. Um, you would actually get like motion sickness if 
you could see during saccades. You are actually temporary. Your your vision temporarily cuts out. You don't actually notice it. You just kind of the image just kind of goes from one. Oh, there are those Olmec head things. Um, I call them Olmecs because of the Simpsons. I have no idea. I wouldn't know an Olmec from an Aztec if it bit me in the Aztec. Um, but yeah, you're blind during saccades, so the images just kind of go right together, and there's no there's no motion blur is what I'm getting at. So um, it doesn't make any sense that in video games, when you uh, look around, there's motion blur, because that's not how the human anything, that's not how anything works. Like, motion blur is when you are standing still and other things are moving quickly towards you. That's what makes the things happen. Hi, buddy. Yes, you are spooky scutal. Oh, you're not even scutal. Hello. Oh, he's made of gold. He's a shiny boy. Uh oh. My vision's going crazy. Oh, yeah, it's the... You see spooky thing and you go crazy. I never... I, I, I already said that, but... I like that he can't... He has arms in his mouth! That's a nice touch. I love, I love how most people, you know, you're, the, the expected reaction is, Oh my god, brr! But I'm just like, oh hey, that's kind of scary and neat. I like that. Somebody told me to play Five Nights at Freddy's and I... It's, let me tell you, no matter how much you love Five Nights at Freddy's, you don't want to see me play Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, best case scenario, I would laugh when the jump scares happen. Otherwise, I would just like, you know, be like, ugh, again. Like, watch, um, watch my Luna game, or um, you can see my Amnesia, or like, uh, I've, I've played a few jump scare games in my time. Um, not so much super intentionally, but like, I usually just laugh when the jump scare happens. Because like, this is the, you know, big spooky scutal pops up on screen, but like, and you're just like, wow. So I like Mr. Aztec face, man. That's a highlight. Will I die if I go in here? Bad end. Researcher of the Abyss! I got an achievement. Oh, you can't see the Chivo. You can't see my dank Chivo. I just researched the Abyss. Oh, this is spooky. Let's go to the spook door. Yeah, we can't open. You gotta get all 18 of the things to open the spook door. <laughs> Oh, there's a spooky heart in there. I can't even see what is screaming and making the screen go weird. There's Aztec Arm Man face friend. So that's nice. There's my chair. That's how you know it's surreal. There's a ch- Whoa! I have a bouncy chair! I wish I had a bouncy chair. This is the tale of a man and his bouncy chair. Why is, wait, do I just always jump? Oh, you just always jump that high in here. Wait, don't tell me I can like jump over this thing. That would be amazing. Please tell me I can jump over this thing. Oh my gosh, I think I can guys. Oh my gosh. This game just got 10 times better. Hold on, I'll do this. Speed run, this is a speed run now. These are the new strats guys. All right, take notes. Open your paste bins. This is speedrun strat time. Oh, you can't stand on the lights. All right, all right. This, is, this move is frame perfect. It's double frame perfect. And you gotta, it's, it's, it's sub-pixel perfect too. You gotta, <laughs> what is screaming at me? Got a nice little Rockerino texture here. All I need to do, oh. All we had to do is follow the damn train, CJ. Oh, come on. CJ. CJ, just follow the train. Damn it, CJ. That's all we had to do. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure if my speedrun strats are working. Okay, 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 okay. Jump, jump. Just gotta jump. Just gotta jump. Just gotta jump one more time. Aw. Why can I jump this high? What <laughs> what non-cheating purpose could this even serve? Oh, oh I was so close! Oh, first person platforming is a special hell that I hope no one is ever forced to go to. Oh man, oh man. 
I mean, I'm not supposed to be able to do this, so, like, it's not really the game's fault that the platforming that it probably not supposed to be able to do is bad, but, like, I gotta do, like, a hook jump or something. Ah. Ah. And that's, like, one of the trickier jumps you can do in 2D, but now I gotta do it in 3D, which is, the, frankly, the worst D in terms of, like, game feel and interaction. Like, you want your game to look good. Well, not even that. Like, 3D games don't even look better, but, like, you know, if you want your game to look, you know, AAA, you gotta have 3D. You want your game to feel, you know, better in terms of, like, movement and stuff. 2D is kind of, that's why Mega Man is 2D. Though I do like Mega Man Legends, but that's kind of... The Mega Man Legends from Mega Man, regular Mega Man, control issues are kind of emblematic, or whatever I'm trying to say of of my point here. Okay, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I failed you all. So yeah, that is the thing. There's some spooky stairs. I do like the spooky stairs. We got some, um, yeah. That was Fribulation HD. Um, I do, I, I just wish it went a, a lot more surreal, a lot more quickly, and the horror element, like, it's okay to have a horror element, but don't, I don't think it needed to be a horror game. I think the, the ability to just have to just get shoved backwards or at least have more checkpoints but the ability to get shoved backwards is generally not a plus in a game like this 